Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the T-Mart Decorated Apparel YouTube channel. And today we're going to be diving into a new platform. This site is called Kittle.com. And trust me, it's a big game changer. So if you want to see more, stay tuned. All right, thanks, folks. So again, I'm Mike here. Uh, I know it's a little echoey in my background. We're in a new room, but I definitely wanted to get this video out to you guys in case you had not heard. So if you're in the apparel decoration space, you may be familiar with canva.com or place it where you can create mock-ups. Uh, they have templates that you can use, uh, different uh, sources like text, different uh, background images, things like that. So I'm sure you all are familiar with at least one of those design platforms. And Kittle is similar. Uh, only thing, well, not really, I'm not gonna say the only thing, but what helps to set Kittle apart is the uh, amount of editing that you can do on here. So I'm gonna be scrolling through this site here just so you all can kind of get a glimpse of what they have to offer. So if you've been on any of those other sites like Canva or Place It, this will look pretty familiar to you. So they have um, you know, different postcards, looks like these are invitations, uh, t-shirt designs, things like that. And so you'll find all those items up here on this little home row that they offer to you. So we're looking at logos, posters, cards, labels, et cetera. Uh, they have thumbnails and things like that as well. So I would imagine the templates are what we're going to be focusing on, mostly what most people will actually take advantage of. But then there are also things here like their AI vector image generator, text effects, different mock-ups, things like that. And it looks like they actually even have a, a few tutorials here on their site to help you through that process. And so uh, we're going to do a Kittle versus uh, video maybe uh, later on this week, so what we'll really do head-to-head uh, -head against Canva and against Placid so that we can really see, you know, how those all stand up. And so today we're just going to quickly be looking through this, and so I actually created the thumbnail for this very video here on Kittle.com, and so this, I want to see, oh, it's like I won't be able to see it, but this was originally a YouTube thumbnail for restaurants. And it had a picture of ramen noodles and the address of the restaurant, you know, that whole deal. And what you're able to do with Kittle is completely uh, edit that whole template and sort of make it your own. So I'm gonna quickly go here and even see if it will bring up that previous thumbnail. I probably should have had that already here, huh? Here we go, bow. So it wasn't too hard to find. So this is the original template, and I just kind of liked the filter that was on it, and so I just decided to grab this. So I was able to change this design to this. And this is uh, for YouTube here. And so what I like about Kittle so far is that you're able to edit just about everything. So you see here I have my text highlighted, text selected, and I can go in and change the color. I can change the border weight on here if I happen to have uh, you know, outline or something like that there that you see. Uh, we can change the position, the text itself, sizing, everything like that. And you can even change how it looks, the transformation of it, everything like that. So you can kind of do whatever you need to do. And they even uh, have layers on here. So you can, you know, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you can layer different masks and uh, backgrounds or to give it, you know, your thumbnail or your t-shirt design a really cool look or a really grungy look or vintage or, you know, whatever you're really going for. And so... I thought that was pretty cool. All of these images here are different. You see, the layout is the same, and I basically just changed it to suit what we're doing here. Another cool thing about Kittle.com is that you can download in different uh, file types. 
which is pretty new for me. I know Canva does offer that on their uh, paid version or on their premium version, but this is something that Placeit does not offer. And this is really great because if you need it for a print, you know, you can get your PDF or your SVG, all your vector files, or if you're using it for a thumbnail, you know, a digital use, you can go ahead and make it a PNG, JPEG, and then you can change the sizing here, inches, pixels, millimeters, which is super helpful because you know if you've made uh, thumbnails before for YouTube, they have to be a particular size and everything like that. And that can be really frustrating if you spend a lot of time on a thumbnail and then end up not being able uh, to use said thumbnail. So um, that's something I always said to look out for. And I'm really glad that they added that here to Kittle.com uh, because frankly, that was something that place it was missing dearly. Um, previously on place it, you were able to change the position of your text, change the sizing and things like that, and you can't now. Whereas with Kittle.com, you can do so. And where that can really, you know, come into play, especially if you're doing posters or digital prints and things like that, or even thumbnails for that matter, you want to have that text, you know, nice and big. You want to be able to read everything. And uh, place it just doesn't offer that right now. They kind of uh, removed that. And so, the text box is all you have. So if your uh, text needs to fit in this particular box, no matter how much you're typing, it'll just get smaller to fit within this predefined space instead of you being able to edit it yourself. Well, that same thing with these uh, pictures here and everything like that. This was a standard stock photo that was here in a Kittle, but you can edit these uh, however you need to. So obviously opacity over here in this little corner or a little sidebar is where you will find all of your different elements that you can include here. So whether that's templates, different texts, certain elements here. So we are on the paid version. So we can use all these items here that have a little crown on them. But if there's anything that you wanted to add or include, a little border, things like that, different flourishes that you can add, to your particular item, you can feel free to do so right on over here. And it looks like there's actually a ton of artwork that's already preloaded. Uh, of course, you can upload your own artwork. It looks like the photo section is actually photorealistic pictures that you can add. So if you are making a flyer or a business card or anything like that, and you want to include some of these uh, photorealistic images, you can do so. You've got different textures. And then the Kittle AI, which I haven't really messed with so far. So we'll have to kind of circle back and uh, think about what we're going to do there. But it's uh, pretty basic. Uh, or I would say it's actually a pretty in-depth. They have a lot going on here. And of course, you know, different types of images or mock-ups that you can use. Now, for some reason... The mock-up section doesn't quite work here on my computer. So there's a little mock-up button right over here. And every time I've clicked it, it's always told me that I need to update my internet or that, you know, it's not good for whatever I'm using. So that's a little frustrating. So it just kind of either, you know, vamps out or doesn't give me a, a good uh, mock-up. So that's kind of one point down. See, here's that little error now mock-up is not supported. So I'm not quite sure what that means. My browser's up to date and everything. And so I've been getting that for about a month so far. So that's the only thing I can really give it a tick on, uh, particularly just because I haven't been able to use it. It's giving me this error message uh, for some reason. So that is kind of a, a, a bummer there, but everything else has uh, worked so far. I think you can even uh, send this out to print on demand services as well, which is really cool. So if you're hooked up with any of those services and you run an online store or Shopify or anything like that, you can have your images uh, sent directly on out there for printing. So again, we're gonna you know continue to do little deep dives on this. We'll do a versus uh, video just so we can see how this kind of stacks up 
versus Canva and versus Placeit. So you can really understand what I mean in terms of being able to uh, edit your text and things like this. So I can make this as big as I want to here and save it and print it out just like that. And some of the kind of print on demand or design software services won't allow you to do that. So all in all, I think Kittle is a pretty cool uh, new website, definitely a, a player uh, in the kind of print on demand, digital mock-up world or game, however you want to kind of put that. And they've got a ton of new designs and it looks like this is uh, maybe user influence. So they do have artists that will add different things. So you'll see little names here of users and who uploaded all this work. And of course, this is uh, all commercial ready or commercial usable as long as you've uh, paid for the program or paid for your membership for Kittle. Uh, it was a full one year subscription. I uh, apologize, I don't remember what the cost was, but I will make sure to put it in the comments or in the description of this video. I want to say it was around $120 for the year, uh, which is currently more than both Canva and Place It, I believe. So that's something to think about. It is a little expensive, but you know, you should just have rows and rows and rows and rows of items, you know, that you can uh, use or search for. You can type in holidays, things like that, and get all sorts of uh, cool little designs. And so obviously here at T-Mart, we use these mostly either for YouTube thumbnails or for uh, t-shirt designs when people do call in or if we have uh, a customer that we actually have to design for we'll come over over here get a little bit of inspiration and use one of these templates and then it, you know it makes it really easy uh, especially if you're doing fundraising sites and things like that and you want to add some cool little festive things that maybe the sponsor hasn't thought of I would say definitely be sure to stop on over you know and check out what they have so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all have kind of got a quick little cursory uh, view of Kittle.com. Again, if you have used Canva or a place or anything like that, it's very similar. Uh, but just with this, you get more options for editing. And I personally don't really feel like you have to have editing skills or editing experience uh, to do these things. Uh, like I said, there are layer so I did have to delete one of the layers on this particular uh, template because they had a like a vintage mask over it and they had some gradient bars that really added to the original uh, template but things that I didn't need so I think that's the most probably in-depth thing layers if you haven't worked with Photoshop or Illustrator or anything like that then you may be unfamiliar with the concept of layers and you know, you may be clicking around on here and trying to figure out why this particular box won't highlight or why you can't move something around. And in that case, it may be in one of these layers right here where you can go and delete and turn them off just like you would if you were working in an Adobe product. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, everything is pretty basic. You know, you've got your text settings. You can make it bigger, bolder, center it, off center it, things like that you know, turn it upside down, make it a circle, all those things that are pretty elementary. If you're working in the design space, they even have some different uh, text effects, which are pretty cool. I actually haven't uh, played with those before. So, oh, okay, just give it a little background to it or a little depth to it for a 3D look, different lines and stuff. So if you're creative at all, I can see, you know, you probably have your, uh, your wheels turning in your mind already thinking about all the cool things that you can do with Kittle.com. So again, I just wanted to bring you this uh, quick uh, little video, letting you know that there is a new option, a new player uh, in the uh, online uh, or mock-up game, however you want to call it, the online design space, digital design, whatever it is, Kittle is here. So let us know in the comments below if you want to see some more videos or anything specific. If you want us to look into some of these tools or uh, show any of the uh, tutorials that they have available, go ahead. Let us know down below. 
And again, we'll certainly be back with that versus video because that's really exciting to me. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Hit that like for me, if you will. Give us a subscribe if you want to see more videos about the custom apparel world and running your shop. Thanks. Bye.